Success in elementary school usually requires students to do well in reading, writing, and arithmetic. Expresa la distancia aproximada en días. But at Adams, success can't be achieved without mastering a second language. We are a full immersion school, which means that from day one in kindergarten, you are being taught in Spanish. This year, more than 700 students from all across St. Paul have enrolled at Adams to get an education they wouldn't receive at most schools. The philosophy is, is that um, when you're bilingual, it improves you as a person. Yet even with the emphasis on learning a second language, Adams is not immune to the effect of budget cuts. It's frustrating. Sixth grade teacher Ingrid Martinez has taught in the district for eight years. There's such a need for our public schools to be supported um, financially and we're not getting it. It's getting cut. This year alone, Adams had to give pink slips to 11 staff members, ranging from teaching assistants to people in technology. One of the worst things about my job is having to tell someone that they don't have a job based on budget. Meanwhile, teachers such as Martinez have more work on their plates without the extra classroom help. It just it hurts. To help offset the effect of the budget cuts, Martinez is leading an effort in collaboration with the organization Junior Achievement to bring volunteers into Adams from the Twin Cities business community on June 7th to teach students in all grade levels about financial literacy. Hopefully that's just the start of being able to bring in more of that into our school throughout the year, especially for next year when we're really going to feel the cuts in our school and we're really going to need more support from the community. Support that will help ensure these students receive the highest quality education. From Adams Spanish Immersion Magnet in St. Paul, I'm Delane Cleveland.